Hi everybody, this is the spectrum of defensive coverage, which categorizes the degree to which a team is defending space or defending players. In this video, we're going to look at examples of the different concepts along this spectrum, their pros and their cons, and why defenses might want to play them at different times. For more info on Flexigan defense, which is my speciality, check out the videos on the Felix Ultimate YouTube and Patreon channels. Quick note for YouTube viewers, uh, this video is broken up into parts, so this is part one, it's going to cover matchups, and then subsequent parts will cover the other concepts. If you want to see, if you're interested in it and you want to see all of the parts, then check out Patreon, where the video is there, and you can then connect with the other patrons in the community and chat about the video, uh, and more videos will be made as well if we have patrons. Um, so yeah, enjoy it YouTube viewers, we've got almost 3,000 subscribers now, which is amazing. Um, yes, enjoy the video. On the far left of this spectrum is match defense, where each defender matches up against an offensive player and aims to stop that individual getting free. Conventional match defense is extremely individualistic, allowing defenders to pick favorable matchups that correspond to their abilities. They need to travel. Oh. That's Kurt Gibson making amends, laying out around his... Def the basic teamwork that's happening at this end of the spectrum revolves around the force. The defender marking the thrower is tasked with pressuring particular types of throws or throws to a designated area called the break side, whilst the downfield defenders mark their matchups accordingly, usually by guarding moves to the open side as a priority over guarding moves to the break side. Offenses exploit the reactive nature of match defense by forming vertical and side stacks which lead all the defenders into a small area and leave large open spaces for the offense to cut into. Match defense is also vulnerable as it places a disproportionate responsibility on the person marking the thrower to pressure all the break side throws. Most ultimate players have probably run a three-person break force drill and routinely broken the force time and time again. If you try this drill with your eyes closed when you're on disc, you might be surprised at how successful you can be at breaking the force. This means that break side throws are common in almost all high and intermediate level ultimate games. Few high level teams play pure one-to-one -one match defense nowadays. Most encourage a level of flash poaching and reactive switching in situations where a score must be stopped or where a turnover can be generated. The more that players can lock onto a one-to-one -one matchup, the less on-field teamwork is used, which simplifies the task for defenders and allows them to focus on shutting down their matchup. This leads to a sustained level of pressure over time, with many bids possible from an athletic team. Teams that tend to have an athletic advantage over their opponents, like Clapham, Fury or Hoot, have used match defense to great success as they consistently shut out their matchups without the need for team defense. Let's take a look at the other side of the spectrum, zone defense. Whoa, 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 we'll save that until the next part, um, unless you get onto Patreon right now and then you can watch the whole video um, and you can chat about it with other patrons. Uh, this stuff is happening right now. Yeah, these videos are being made and produce and everything as we talk, making a lot more videos on flex defense and stuff, um, but it's only possible if I get patrons, okay? So if you're interested, if you're like, oh, I want to see the zone defense one now, then get on Patreon. It's like a token amount, um, ideally whatever you can afford, um, but like $1 a month. Yes, yeah, so I hope you take something from this video. If you take something from the video, then please get something back. See you again soon.